I am Trey. Uh, I'm here in my uh, home studio in Austin, and I set up my DSLR there on the other side of the room to uh, record this little uh, message about the webinar that's upcoming. Um, I'll talk a little bit about um, what we'll discuss during the webinar. Um, I'll talk about some of the prizes. We have thousands of dollars worth of prizes we're giving away. Um, and kind of give you a little bit of an idea of uh, what the webinar is going to be all about. And also I'm going to invite you, if you haven't done so already, to take this little survey. It's a simple three question survey. You give me feedback as to what you're thinking about, what you want to know, and that'll help me further um, kind of refine the content of it. Um, so the whole class is, is nine hours long. It's, uh, it's super long. Uh, it's, uh, it takes place over uh, nine different days, uh, three weeks. Uh, three nights a week. Um, if you miss a class or you're in the wrong time zone or whatever, don't worry about it. We give you access to the clubhouse, which is sort of a private section of Stuck in Customs, where you'll be able to download the, um, uh, the, 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 the webinar session um, afterwards. So don't, don't worry about it. You'll still be able to get it. Um, what level is it for? Well, um, really, it's for any level. Since we have so long, I'll be able to start from the very beginning and go through it. Um, I'll let you know my reasoning, my approach. I'll really kind of challenge your, your premises about uh, photography. Things that you think you know, um, I'll challenge you to kind of re-examine them from the ground up. Because, you know, I, I have my own approach, my own way of thinking about it. Not that necessarily mine is the right way or the best way, but I think it is different. And even if you have your own perspective on things, it might be interesting for you to um, empathize with a different way of looking at things and help you to constantly challenge this, uh, this sort of this foundation of your photography. Um, even though this is really, I guess, sort of an HDR-centric um, webinar, although I, you probably know that I, I hate to classify or categorize what I do as HDR because I kind of have my own approach. It really encompasses post-processing as a whole, and you'll see everything that uh, that I know, um, everything I've built up over the years, um, all the experience that I've, I've picked up, all the mistakes that I've made. Um, um, you know, it hasn't it hasn't been easy um, figuring all this stuff out, but uh, I'm happy to, to share it with y'all. So here's generally what we'll be talking about. Um, I got to look at the iPad because I forget everything. Uh, so, of course, we'll be talking about um, HDR photography from uh, beginner all the way to advanced. Um, the basics of post-processing, uh, even if you're not too awesome with Photoshop, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll go kind of uh, uh, through these basics of how you do layers and masking and some of these essential stuff. Um, and then we'll jump into uh, some of the more complex tricks and tips that I've picked up. Uh, you know, you won't become an expert on Photoshop, and you're not supposed to. I'm not sure anybody really ever is. But I'll show you some of the really cool tools and how I use them. That'll, that'll be kind of a nice foundation for you going forward. Um, I'll talk about some of the um, softer, um, kind of less technical things about photography, about adding mystery and intrigue to your photo. Um, I'll talk a lot about the artistic side of things. Because I think we don't just want to be technicians that produce technically perfect shots, but we also want to have something, something else there. Um, I'll talk about how I take photos in the field, my equipment, um, how I set up for, for my shots. Um, I'll also talk about some of the, the back-end stuff, uh, how I manage my photos, um, how I manage the blog. Uh, some of the back-end, uh, sort of uh, behind-the-scenes, uh, businessy side of things, uh, which, which will be interesting, uh, I think. I will also talk about um, common post-processing problems. Um, you know, I've seen them all. I've processed uh, thousands and thousands of photos, so I see some things that come up time and time again. Even though there's often unique problems, uh, there's a lot of common problems. And also by kind of teaching you how to solve some of these common problems. They'll give you hints on how to solve the complex unknown problems that will crop up in your own work. Um, that's sort of a big theme of it too, is the, the idea of uh, problem solving in, in your work. 
and the idea that um, you know there's not always step-by-step instructions for how to get through some of these issues. Um, so really it's good to kind of arm yourself with uh, some of these basic problem-solving techniques that you can then apply to your own uh, particular problems. Um, the format of each class will be um, uh, pretty simple. There'll be 20 minutes of um, lecture, um, and not, uh, I hate to use the word lecture because I always think of these boring college professors. Uh, I certainly have a, a different style of teaching. Um, and. Uh, you know, if you've been following uh, the blog or whatever for a while, you know that uh, either it clicks with you or, or it doesn't. Uh, but I will uh, talk about things in a new way, a different way. Uh, and this is all very practical stuff, right? Because we do live in this sort of left, right brain world where we need our right brains to be creative, but you need your left brain to form a foundation so that your right brain can be free to do the things that you really want to do or to help you discover these things you really want to do. Um, so we'll have about 20 minutes of, of this. Um, we'll have uh, 20 minutes of uh, sort of hands-on type stuff where uh, I'll be doing screen casting so you'll see exactly where I click and where I move my arrow and what tools I use and um, this sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to have like homework between classes and a lot of times I will process the stuff from the homework. I might show other people's examples or uh, give critiques of homework and pick randomly this sort of stuff. And then at the end of every class we'll have Q&A. So uh, new stuff might pop up, uh, stuff I didn't cover, uh, something people might want uh, more explanation on. Um, and I don't know where that will go, right, because it's q and it's sort of unexpected. And then uh, at the end of every class, we'll be giving away um, prizes. So here are a list of prizes. Um, by the way, none of these companies are paying me or anything. They just they just send stuff um, all the time. Um, I've just got stuff to give away. Uh, so we're giving away a Drobo every class. Um, so that's a lot of Drobos. Um, yeah, you can see my Drobos uh, humming away back there. I actually have more. I fill up Drobos and I take them over to friends' houses just in case there's a fire or something. Um, we're giving away, uh, uh, every class we're giving away a copy of On One Software. We're giving away uh, three copies of uh, Nick Software, uh, three copies of HDR FX Pro. Uh, we're giving away uh, three licenses of Topaz Adjust, um, a full Topaz uh, bundle, two uh, one-year accounts for Animoto, and probably a lot of other things too. Um, it'll be fun and awesome and so on and so forth. That's just a nice little bonus. Okay, so that's it. Um, uh, again, I ask in the beginning, I will ask again to please take this survey, uh, because even though people leave comments all the time on the blog and you know, on photos and whatnot, uh, about your feelings and your thoughts. This kind of gives a focused area where I can just pour through and read exactly what people want to learn, um, how they want to learn it, and also a little bit about what uh, what makes you interested in photography. I mean, why why do you... Uh, of all the things in the world, right? Uh, there's so much to do to stay, stay busy or so many interesting hobbies, but um, I'm very interested in people's motivations. So, you know, why do you like photography? Um, it's kind of an interesting sort of deeper question, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can hear that in the background or not. My uh, my son's playing the piano in the other room. I wish I knew music. I don't. Uh, photography is one of the only things I feel like I know in the world. Uh, but I'm happy to, to share it with you. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, take the survey, and um, thanks for your time.